क्वेश्चन थर्ड इट रीड्स एंड आइसोलेटेड जिंक बीड ऑफ रेडियस आर इट हैज बीन चार्ज टू आर नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल वी नॉट एज्यूमिंग पोटेंशियल एट इनफाइनाइटली डिस्टेंट पॉइंट टू बी जीरो प्लेस्ड इन अ फ्री स्पेस इज बींग कंटिन्यूसली इरीडिएटेड बाय अल्ट्रा वायलेट वेव और लाइट ऑफ वेव लेंथ लैमडा फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक थ्रिशोल्ड वेव लेंथ फॉर द जिंक इज लेमडा नॉट स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इज नोन टू एज एस सी प्लैंक्स कॉन्स्टेंट इज डिनोटेड बाई एच परमिटिविटी ऑफ फ्री स्पेस इज डिनोटेड बाई एप साल इन नॉट एंड द चार्ज इन मास ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन इज लाइक माइनस ई एंड एम वी नीड टू सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम द फॉलोविंग so statement one says about the maximum speed of the photo electron immediately after the emission so here we are talking about the option a immediately after the emission the kinetic energy or maximum kinetic energy related with the uh, electron photo electron is given by this equation einstein's photo electric equation sc by lambda is the input energy sc by lambda not is the threshold or we can say Uh, work function and k max this is immediately after so from here we can find out k max which is going to be basically half mv max square this is going to be uh, the difference of these two energies that is sc by lambda minus sc by lambda not so from here v max that means maximum velocity comes out to be square root of 2 hc upon m within the bracket 1 upon lambda minus 1 upon lambda not so this is the maximum velocity that it is going to be achieved by the photoelectrons immediately after the emission so that's correct then option b says the maximum speed of the photoelectrons at a great distance from the bead so once the electrons comes out and go to the greater distance then how much the speed or maximum speed they are going to have now this is the expression in the new book it it has been updated there is a factor of 2 coming in anyway so at a large distance once we are going to large distance uh, then uh, during after this emission uh, the voltage of this is going to play a role so that energy has to be incorporated so if we write the equation for energy that means we say this is the incident energy of the light or photons this is the work function that has been wasted in the uh, in the form of work function or used in the form of work function and then certain part of the energy will be used due to the potential of the zinc bead itself since potential is negative so uh, the energy that is going to go there is going to be e minus v not or you can think of this is of negative potential charge is negative so because of this negative potential it will have a field in this direction so force is going to be in this direction so this potential basically is going to accelerate it it that means it is going to increase the velocity or uh, kinetic energy of this electron photo electron at a large distance so that's going to be its negative plus half m v dash max square so this v dash is the velocity uh, which is maximum velocity at a great distance now we can simplify we bringing all the terms this side so this is going to be half mv dash max square is going to be sc within bracket 1 by lambda minus 1 upon lambda not plus ev not and from here we we max this expression comes out to be this which is square root of 2 hc upon m 1 minus uh, 1 upon lambda minus 1 upon lambda not that means this term along with the factor 1 which is potential so this term is basically because of uh, potential of the zinc bead energy or the uh, speed has gone up so this factor is coming additional since corrected point has a 2 so it's that says the b option is also matching now using this two then after option c says potential of the bead after prolonged ra radiation is going to be what this so we can now keep on doing this uh, incident light incident on this electrons will be ejected then this will be getting positively charged or lack of electrons so initially it was ha having in negative potential that means it was negatively charged so all those negative charges has gone out then after it will be like uh, more negative charges are going so that means it, there is a positive charges building up so ultimately it will got it will get some potential 
positive potential and once the potential is such that the even the emitted electron is not able to leave it that means then after these photoelectrons will stop going outside so that will be ultimate potential of this zinc bead so we can write after a long time bead will be having a positive potential and let's positive potential is v and so that v is going to be like sc by lambda is equal to sc by lambda naught plus this ev that means maximum kinetic energy of electron can be prevented or can be compensated by this v potential so this positive potential is going to be basically sc by e1 by lambda minus 1 upon lambda naught whereas this is minus sign that's not correct hence is not correct Lastly, it read, uh, talks about the total number of photoelectrons emitted from the bead is going to be what amount. Now, when these number of electrons have gone out, then it, be, it got a positive charge and that positive charge has this potential. Initially, it has a minus V0 potential. So from minus V0 to V, this potential difference has been created by the charges that has gone away. So we can say potential difference, that means final minus initial. This potential difference is going to be the total number of photoelectrons that are going to be go out into the charge of one electron. That means this is the total charge. And the total charge divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r because we know the potential of that spherical body is Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught r. So this is going to tell us that n is the number of total electrons that must have gone out from this bead. And these electrons are basically the total number of photoelectrons. So from here we can find this n value which is going to be basically 4 pi epsilon naught r divided by e within the bracket v plus v naught. This v is the ultimate potential that we have already calculated in the option c. So this is sc by e1 by lambda minus 1 by lambda naught. We can substitute that value. Hence, we will get the number of, in fact, total number of photoelectrons emitted by these, uh, this zinc bead. And if you look this expression, uh, then you'll find the same expression we have got. Hence, option D is also correct. So finally, we got option A to be correct, B to be correct, D to be correct. B is correct with this correction. So final answer is A, B and D. Okay, thank you.